Hello guys and welcome to this week's episode of The Grainy Road. If you're new here, my name is Isaac and this is a vlog where I show you the inside of my life as a goalkeeper. In today's episode, we are playing a game against Vesteros Esqua and I can promise you it's a very interesting one. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and start off by showing the game highlights. Thank you. 
Well, we actually lost the game 7-1. And I thought instead of showing you the goals, I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Because I believe that in every goal, there is always something you could have done to prevent it. And uh, well, it's not funny to concede seven goals as a goalkeeper, but I have to take in the positive things. For example, I did like 10, 11 or 12 saves during the game. And we need to get the facts straight. So it was a friendly, the result doesn't matter. And we had a pretty tough week of training. And it's pretty clear if you look at the outfield players, you can, you can see that they are a bit tired and don't have any energy to make a last run, for example. But anyway, now let's show you the goals and I will be talking about them. So the first goal actually came around one minute into the game. Yeah, I'm not joking. So their striker gets a pretty good pass. Uh, it's a 1v1, I am trying to kick out my trailing leg, but uh, sadly it didn't work and they scored. And I want to add that the goal was pretty much down in the corner of the goal. And later in the game pretty much the same situation occur and I saved it with my left foot. So let's show the second goal. So we can actually see that it's a cutback. So you actually gotta respect this goal a bit. They did it pretty good. So their left wingers make a diagonal run pretty much from the start and gets a open area and scored on one touch. So the first thing I could have done is maybe communicate with my midfielders if I saw that he had such a big area. So the second thing I could have done is maybe set my position a bit earlier. You can actually see that I'm in motion and tries to kick it out, kick out my trailing leg again. And the ball actually hit my chin pad, but Sadly, not a save. So it's quite hard to see the third goal on the GoPro, but it's basically he gets the ball or their striker or their player gets the ball where he puts it between me and the first post. I try to go with my hand to dive it down with my hand and didn't get it so what could I have done instead maybe gone with my foot that's the thing that is actually the only goal of all of these seven that I actually can say well I should have saved it yes! fourth goal I have no idea why their player is so open in the middle, why he has such a big area. Cutback goal, or kind of a cutback, he puts it to my right, it's literally 9 meters from goal and I have less than a second to react. Maybe if I would have set into my position a bit earlier, a bit faster, I would have uh, got a better chance of saving the goal. but. Seventh goal, a penalty. Well, we had nothing to lose. I was trying, I actually read a study that if you move a bit more, then you can actually distract the shooter a bit more. Sadly, I moved a bit too much, so I didn't get a good dive. So in conclusion, they made, I think, four cutback goals. And we have been pretty good at clearing the ball in the golden zone, but Sadly, not in this game. 
and I believe that the outfield players were a bit tired after all the running and then 90 minutes of running during the game. So I don't think we should blame anyone. I think this is a full team responsibility and well, let's work from there. So obviously devastated because the results ended how it did. But there is not much you can do. I mean, it was friendly, so it was no point on the line and it was an unimportant game. So we just have to let it go. Next week, we have a new opportunity where the series starts up again and when it's necessary to take those three points every each and every week. So I mean like as a goalkeeper, even if it's a friendly, you don't want to concede that many goals, even if it doesn't matter. You don't want to concede seven goals. For me, I like to take with me the positive things. Like I did 10 saves during the game. So even though you have a bad game or the results doesn't come your way, you maybe you still did a pretty good game. Like for me, I did 10 saves maybe. And very like, impo very important, difficult saves or some of them. So that is what I take with me. And also after the game, a lot, a lot of my teammates told me like, if you hadn't saved those saves, we had lost like 13-1 or something like that. So that is what I have been doing these last days. I have been trying to forget the bad results and try to focus on my performance and see, well, actually I did a few saves. And that is what I'm taking with me from this game. Well, obviously I saw things I want to improve and should have improved, but I'm trying to not think of the results because the results in that game didn't matter because it was a friendly. Anyway, now, well, yes, I'm at the pitch, but my GoPro have low batteries. So I will be showing you yesterday's distribution training and speak with you after that. That's about it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss future episodes, hit the subscribe button. And I will speak with you next Sunday with a new episode, as always. And see you then. Bye.